Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. As always, let's start our morning ritual. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Lovely. Fortune teller. What's up today? Day, day is in our hands. Okay. Radish salad. I've learned how to make radish salad. Lovely. Okay, we have a few more plants growing up. Not what I meant to do. Let's actually... Oh, the strawberry. I totally forgot about the strawberries. It's awesome. I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. not want to damage my crops there we go uh, so let's see I've got three spots open and I do still have time for potatoes uh, I do have to water everything today today is not a rain day so we'll start with that. We do have enough money to buy the backpack upgrade, which I think will be my next priority. So that by the time we have another good mining day, we have the ability to store just as much stuff as possible. Water we have. Whew. Okay. Just keep stuff watered. And we need three seeds, right? Three seeds. It's easy enough. Oof. Lots of stuff done. Okay. How are we doing for hay? 132 out of 240. Over half. Alright, we've got some daffodils. Lovely. Make some people's days, maybe. We got some leeks. Gold star leak. Nice. Uh, let's see. That's everything I see here that's forageable. Let's go into town and we'll stop by Pierre's first and foremost. Pierre's general store. Let's see what's up this week. Today, nothing, nothing posted today either. All right, Pierre, what's up? I would like one, two, three of these. And I would like the backpack upgrade. And now we have all the spaces that we can get. Oh wow, I never see you out and about. Okay. Grumpy old man, got it. Give someone a gift. Okay, well, I've got plenty of daffodils on hand today. Uh, let's see. Emily's birthday is this week, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Could probably give her a gift today, and then one on her birthday would make her week. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll give Haley one too while we're there. Oh, yeah? Huh. <laughs> it's getting a little stir crazy, eh? Oof, that's true. Oh, it's Penny. I wish I had a dandelion for you. 
Yeah, it's kind of pretty. No, you don't have to apologize. I approached you to talk. Uh, oh, Haley's out. Hey. Well, that's a little mean. Hopefully this makes you a little nicer. Cool, another hundred. Is M in, or did I miss her? No, she's still in. Just not out and about yet. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's Penny and uh, the older guy. Don't be rude. She helped you out. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're fine. Ah, oh, see, he's not so bad. Yeah, he just doesn't like, you know having to face that he's not as young as he used to be or able but uh, it was still nice it's just a different part of life yeah I mean we don't we're virtual pixelated people, but, uh, you know. Uh, all right, let's see. I suppose the, oh, wait, hold on. There was a daffodil up this way I saw earlier. I totally forgot to pick up. There we go. Lovely. And you know what? Emily is probably out of her room by now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, nobody does it better. Nobody could do it better, Lewis. I felt so weird saying Lewis and not just Mary Lewis. Hey, what's up? I'd love to. Yeah. Hey, my pleasure. All right, uh, let's see. So I found three of those today. Daffodils, I mean. Oh, pollen days have lots of forageables. That makes a ton of sense now that I think about it. Okay, so when pollen's in the air, get to foraging. I was like, it's kind of weird that we had like three daffodils and two leeks today. Eh, I guess you get really lucky some days. But no, <laughs> that makes way more sense. Today we might be able to level up our foraging. Who knows? Are we close to getting anything to level five? foraging actually oh man lots of good stuff lots of good stuff sorry birds don't mean to disturb you but I gotta get over this way love the little sea urchin Alright, and then we're gonna go south 
to, uh, well, not south. I guess it's technically west from here to Marnie's Ranch. I don't know why I paused for a second on west. I was like, in my head, west. But for some reason, I was doubting myself, like, constantly. Oh, yeah? Bad allergies? Yeah, summer's pretty... Summer's pretty great. Um... Fortunately, we are having a very cold spring right now, so I haven't had to deal with allergies yet. <laughs> but I do get them. Which is actually a fantastic thing that we're doing uh, bees again this year. And for the first year as a fully registered business. Because um, now we get to... Uh, Oh yeah, you're your, a uh, sculptor? Uh, I don't believe you've ever said that before. No, her dialogue is totally on repeat. Um, what was I saying? Ooh, gold star dandelion. Lovely. Uh, let's see, what was I saying? Oh, bees and honey. Right, yes. Uh, doing that is good, because whatever honey we keep for ourselves um, helps to inoculate us against uh, the flowers that year, which is super helpful. Not seeing any spring... Oh, wow. A singular spring onion. Look at that. And I didn't get anything better than standard quality. Today is my day. Well, I'm getting lots of other good stuff, so no complaints. Beyond that earlier complaint. Moving on. Uh, I suppose I could check around the rest of town. There's some pretty good options. Oh, the, um, what, what does she call herself? Is there not a name we can give her? No? Hmm. So when fall takes all season to grow. Well, no thank you. Okay, nothing over here. Uh, there was the one dandelion. Uh, Silver Star, so we're selling it. Ooh. Oh, nice, a palm fossil. Uh, we can give that to Gunther tomorrow. I believe he's already closed by now, so not much going to happen there. All right, so... Next up, we're going to go up this way. Man, that uh, would floor sound. Sound like it went on forever after I had passed it. I stopped there for a second to make sure that my audio wasn't just out of sync while I was saying that, and uh, nope, doesn't seem like that was the case. So, oh, Robin and Demetrius, just out and about, eh? Eh. Yeah. Well, not many plants explode. I mean, don't get me wrong, some some plants do explode. But not all of them do. Uh, I think there's a phenomenon we have up here in uh some of the northern parts of Canada where uh during the winter uh, you get some snap freeze kind of deals where the sap in the tree freezes or the water in a tree freezes so quickly that uh, that the uh, the bark erupts apparently sounds like a gunshot pretty creepy stuff
All right. Uh, anything I want to do before we turn in? I could do some fishing, I suppose. I do have these seeds to plant, so we can't stay out too late. Yeah, let's get a little bit of fishing in today. Because why not? Cutoff will be... Oh, well, lovely. Jojo Cola. Could have used that like a day ago. I might keep those. That quest comes up a lot. Cutoff will be nine. Man, I would like a fish, please. Any kind of fish, doesn't really matter. Just a fish would be great. Now, uh, something with fin skills. There you go. Oh, fudge. A little bit too much oomph there. There we go. Um, what fish do we need? None of these, eh? No, I don't think so. I think we're good. So this will be our last cast of the night. We'll work our way home, plant those seeds, turn in. something bite anything green algae cool we, we cast it five times one two three four five five times and got one fish today is not a lucky day contrary to what the TV said that was pretty awful luck not just neutral Pretty awful. Alright, let's go. Oh, I, I never thought. Luck probably does influence the fishing. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, fish. Okay. Okay. Lots of good stuff sold. Uh, I also want to put away the clay. I'll be keeping that artifact for tomorrow. But uh, that is currently all the time we have for, for today. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. Helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye for now. Oh, no levels. Okay. Ooh. Damn, not bad on the forging, though. If we didn't level up today, we probably came, we're probably coming pretty close pretty soon.